Why did you write this book and why did you call it artificial intelligence? Uh, well, to your point, um, especially two or so years ago when I got the inspiration to write the book, a lot of the debate around AI or artificial general intelligence, which is the super intelligence or Terminator robots, it's very polarizing. Right. It's either technology, AI is going to be a silver bullet that solves every problem in the planet or it's going to kill us. So part one is I wanted to write a book exploring what's actually sort of happening in the industry. And then the artificial part of it was I realized there's actually a lot of people in the space working to analyze human values to then imbue it, actually put it into the programming of the machines and AI and assistants that we use. So we have a great opportunity as individuals with technology and without to measure our own values so we can compare that to the values that the machine are saying are ours as well. Your, your previous book was about happiness with an app in there somewhere uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and about big data. <laughs> So you focus kind of on the positive, on the upbeat, uh, and it's probably a good idea to, to, you know, as as negative as we get to talk about, you know, positive aspects of artificial intelligence. Um, I guess the first question is, how close are we to this super intelligence that you talk about, that you of which you speak? Of which I speak. Um, <laughs> well, uh, you know, Ray Kurzweil, whose work I admire, you know, the singularity. I think he says it's twenty fifty something. A lot of other folks I've been speaking to recently, they think that's too soon. Um, I know last week your guest, uh, I think, talked about it like in the next 30 years or so. I think the thing to remember is that always sometimes can alarm me, but it's also interesting to me is, um, like, for instance, with self-driving cars, there's something called the left-hand turn problem, where about eight years ago, people were saying in the AI space, in the machine learning space, no way will self-driving cars ever be able to do anything except drive in a straight line or maybe <laughs> go to the right. And the experts were saying this will never happen and now it's here. Right. So I always take with a grain of salt when people are like, oh, it's 100 years away. Um, mainly not because I don't think that they are very wise and have uh, a salient thoughts on the subject, but is that I don't want to give us the chance to sort of go, oh, all right, well, if it's 80 years away, who cares? Because after like 30 years, when something is more than 30 years away, most people stop thinking about it. And, and, and a critical part of the book is that we really have to be thinking about ethical issues now. Yeah. 